Identify every person Collins met. Ten days after the burglary was discovered, police observed him meeting a man just half a mile from Hatton Garden. His identity changed the whole complexion of the investigation. Did you automatically then think this was a possible suspect? At the time of the meeting, no, it just looked like some people meeting outside of the cafe. Detectives got his name from Collins telephone records. It's Brian Reader. I met him in prison. I knew him, I knew him, knew of him, but I didn't meet him until he got the bird, when he got the bird for the gold. Reader was a longtime adversary of the Flying Squad. In 1983, he was involved in the £26 million Brinks Matt robbery. He was accused but found not guilty of the murder of DC John Fordham, who'd been stabbed to death by an associate of Reader's. Detective Constable Fordham was found lying on the ground eight yards from the gate, dying from ten stab wounds. The prosecution say Reader was stood next to the body. I think once it was established that that was his name, there were people in the office who were, were old enough to remember what had happened, um, some first-hand. Studying the CCTV footage of both break-ins, detectives were surprised to see no sign of Reader on the second night. The explanation was to be found amongst the debris of the crime scene. There was a pump on the floor. It looked like their plan was to take an acro, something that would hold up a ceiling if you're having some work or knocking a wall yeah, down. So as you pump it, it expands, right? Yeah, you can put it across this room. Through onto the other side, which is the back of the safety deposit box. Yeah, the idea is to pump that, that box that's there, push it over, and over it goes, giving them access. But the pump was damaged. The cabinets holding the safety deposit boxes turned out to be bolted to the ceiling and floor. Their plan had failed. Brian said that the thing would be freestanding. I mean, when we get it, it's bolted to the wall. That's when they stopped. They couldn't move, couldn't shift it, so they come out that day. That's when Brian decided not to go back.